Hi friends, welcome to this class on trigonometric identities and ratio of complementary angles. I'm going to make the concepts really easy for you. So I'm sure you'll find this topic really easy after watching this class. So make sure you watch the entire video. All right, guys. So are you ready and excited for this maths class on trigonometric identities and ratio of complementary angles? And before we start, I'd like to say that do check out our website, manochaacademy.com. We have these physics, chemistry courses, and soon we'll be launching the maths courses also. So do check it out. We have got big discounts going on right now and links are given below. I'm sure you'll find these courses really helpful in your preparation because you can watch interactive videos, attend special live classes, solve quizzes and questions and get direct replies from me. So guys, do check it out. And I want to thank all of you for your love and support uh, because uh, we get great feedback on our YouTube channel, Manucha Academy. So thanks guys. And if you haven't hit the like button, please hit it right now and do share it out with your friends so that we can have more people join these live classes and more videos that we upload. All right, guys. So thanks for sharing. So do share it out with your friends and please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos. And guys, if you haven't seen the trigonometry basics video, then do check this video out. Uh, I've uploaded it on the our YouTube channel, Manocha Academy. So do watch that. All right, guys. So good evening everyone and great to see all of you here. So welcome to this maths class and let's look at trigonometry. So guys, as you know, in trigonometry, we need a right angle triangle, right? So let's quickly revise the basics. So this is a right angle triangle ABC, right angle that B and let's say this angle is theta. Okay, so this is the angle theta. Then what are the trigonometric ratios that we can define? So guys, you know that this is going to be the perpendicular, which I'm showing in pink color, the base here, right? So for this angle theta, this opposite side is the perpendicular. This uh, BC is the base because it contains both the 90 degree and theta. And the side opposite to the 90 degree is called the hypotenuse. So now we can take a ratio of the sides and we can define these trigonometric ratios. So you know that perpendicular by hypotenuse is sine theta, right guys? And guys, what is cos theta? So cos theta guys is base by hypotenuse, right? So base by hypotenuse. And what is tan theta? You guys know tan theta is perpendicular by base, okay? So make sure you learn all these trigonometric ratios. And what is cosec theta? Guys, you know that uh, these, uh, what you see on these sides are the reciprocals, right? So cosec theta is one by sine theta. So we can say it's going to be hypotenuse, right? So this hypotenuse divided by the perpendicular because it's the reciprocal of sine theta. And guys, what is sec theta? So th sec theta is going to be hypotenuse by base, right? And uh, cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. Okay, so can you see we need to invert P by B. So it's going to be base by perpendicular. Clear? And please remember this is only our trigonometric ratios are taken for a right angle triangle. And as you can see, we have taken them for this angle theta. Or you can call the angle A or X, right? And uh, we also looked at this table in the last class. Uh, you need to learn up these standard important values of sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, right? for 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees. So guys, make sure you know all these values because they are very useful in the sums, okay? So do learn them up. So now in today's class, we're gonna look at something called complementary angles, okay? So again, we have this right angle triangle, right? Which is right angle that B here, as you can see, guys. So ABC, and let's take this angle theta, okay? So we are taking this angle theta. So let's uh, write down. So what will sine theta be? So let's quickly write these in terms of the sides. Okay. So sine theta, right? Remember we said it was perpendicular by hypotenuse. So here it's sine theta is going to be basically the perpendicular here is AB for theta. So it's going to be AB by AC, right? For this triangle. 
what is cos theta going to be guys so cos theta for this triangle is going to be the base bc right this is the base divided by the hypotenuse ac right and tan theta guys is going to be can you see that ab the perpendicular by the base which is bc here right so did i get my ratios right here with these sides for this triangle abc okay so now we're going to talk about complementary angles so what is the complementary angle here it is this angle 90 minus theta right so these angles so the angle a and c are complementary because they add up to 90 degrees let me write this a little more clearly for you so this angle can you see is going to be 90 minus theta so can you see guys here the angle a plus angle c is 90 degree right because it's going to be 180 minus this 90 so these two angles need to add up to 90 degree so that all the angles in the triangle add up to 180 so now if you look at the trigonometric ratios of 90 minus theta okay okay some of you are asking what is meant by theta so good question theta is basically just a symbol right uh, that we use for uh, denoting the angle right so this is a variable right this angle theta so the angle in this triangle theta can be take the value of 30 degree 40 degree 45 whatever right so it's a uh, it's a variable just like we take x in algebra or you can even take uh, we can say sine of c okay so rather than writing theta we can say sine of c or sine of x but usually uh, usually in trigonometry we use we mark the angle as theta okay so now let's take a look that what is uh, sine 90 minus theta can be uh, is going to be so guys can you tell me here so can you help me out what is sine 90 minus theta going to be in terms of the sides so what is uh, the sine of this angle going to be the angle a which is 90 minus theta so who can tell me what should I write here for sine 90 minus theta? So this one, right? Okay. So first tell me in terms of the sides. So I'm not asking, uh, so in terms of the sides, it's a trigonometric ratio. So should it be AB by AC or should it be something else? What do you guys think? Okay. So very good. I see some answers there. So if you look at this 90 minus theta, uh, a sign of 90 minus theta is basically going to be the perpendicular by hypotenuse, right? So what is the perpendicular for this angle? It's going to be this side, right? It's going to be now BC, not AC, because the side opposite to 90 minus theta. So it's going to be BC by the hypotenuse, which is AC. Clear? So let's write that down. Similarly, let's write it for these guys also. So what is cos 90 minus theta going to be in terms of sides. So let's get the concepts really clear. Okay. So cos 90 minus theta, can you see? So for this angle A, 90 minus theta, cos 90 minus theta is going to be base by hypotenuse. So what is the base here? The base is AB. And the hypotenuse is again the same, AC. So I'm going to write AB by AC. Very good. I see a lot of you said AB by AC. Excellent, guys. And what is tan 90 minus theta going to be so you know tan means perpendicular by base so let's look at who's the perpendicular and base for 90 minus theta right so for 90 minus theta it's going to be basically bc by ab can you see that bc is the perpendicular for it and ab is the base right so we've written these out clearly does that make sense right simple so now lights uh, guys let's go ahead and See what's the interesting connection here with these complementary angles. And can you see in the, I've used some color matching here. So maybe you guys can see out here. So what do you think? Uh, what are the important formulas we're going to get for these complementary angles here? Let's take a look. Okay. So basically we'll have cos 90 minus theta, uh, right? Uh, sorry, sine 90 minus theta. Let me start with the first one. So let's erase this uh, thing here, right? So we are basically going to have sine 90 minus theta, right? Is So sine 90 minus theta is BC by AC. And can you see that's going to be equal to cos theta. So this is a very interesting relation for the complementary angles theta and 90 minus theta. So sine 90 minus theta 
right? So that means 90 degrees, right? So sine 90 degree minus theta is cos theta. Okay, very good. Similarly, we'll get, guys, what do we get for cos? So, excellent guys. So what will cos 90 minus theta be? Can you guys tell me? By looking at these trigonometric ratios. Okay, so here we saw that these guys were related, right? So these guys were the same, right? BC by AC. And what will this guy be? Very good, very good guys. So cos 90 minus theta is going to be sine theta. You guys rock absolutely right. So from this formula, can you see? If you compare cos 90 minus theta, it's same as AB by AC, which is going to be sine of theta. So we are getting some really interesting formulas. And what is the connection between tan 90 minus theta, right? So tan 90 minus theta, is that equal to tan theta or what is it? What do you guys see there? Okay, so can you see that tan 90 minus theta is BC by AB and tan theta is AB by AC. So they're reciprocals of each other, right? So this is basically one by tan theta, or I can write, you know, that one by tan theta, very good, excellent, is cot theta, superb guys. So this is the formula. It's basically one by tan theta, which is basically cot theta. So these are very, very important formulas for you to remember. Sine 90 minus theta is cos theta, cos 90 minus theta is sine theta, and tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. So can you see how the complementary angles are related in this interesting way? right and we can use this in our questions so these are the formulas right and similarly you can also so we just looked at these formulas for the right angle triangle right so a b c here right this was our theta and this was our 90 minus theta and we learned these important formulas right just now we looked at these and if you take the reciprocal right so it's going to be cosec because you know that cosec theta right you guys know cosec theta is basically 1 by sine theta right so from here we can say that if you take the reciprocal cosec of 90 minus theta is going to be sec theta because sec theta is basically 1 by cos theta simple right you guys know this and similarly you have from this relation you can get the next one sec of 90 minus theta is going to be cosec theta and similarly the if you take the reciprocal cot of 90 minus theta is going to be tan theta. Okay, so just absorb these formulas and guys, the best way to learn them is to write them down. Don't read the maths book, you know, like a, a storybook, like a Harry Potter book, right? You need to write down these formulas, then you'll absorb them. Okay, excellent. Right, so now let's take a look at this question. So can you tell me guys, by using what we've learned so far, what is cos 53 degree by sine 37 degrees. Okay, so guys, I want all of you to try and hint is we've been talking about complementary angles. So what do you guys think this ratio is going to be? So I've been I've asked you to find cos of 53, right, cos 53 degrees divided by sine 37. So come on, who can tell me the answer of that? Wow, awesome. You guys already are writing the answer. You guys are really fast. Excellent. So let's see how to work out this question. Fantastic, guys. So first thing you notice here that if you look at 53 and 37, if I add them up, what do I get? 53 degree plus 37 degree is going to be 90 degrees. Do you see that? So these are basically, so we have complementary angles, right? Because the definition is they add up to 90 degree so basically we can use our formulas that we learned right we can use these formulas or the formulas we talked about here right so and we've summarized it in this slide so we can apply these formulas to that question okay so let's see how do we do that because we have these complementary angles so guys what do you think we are uh, going to do here so if you look here uh, we can write the first one so cos 53 can be written as cos 90 minus 37, right? Because 53 is 90 minus 37. And then let's write this down as sine of 37. Right, guys? Okay. So what is the trick? We are changing cos into sine. Okay. Don't change both. Don't uh, change the numerator cos to sine and then denominator sine to cos. Then you'll be nowhere, right? So we are changing one of them. Uh, so cos 90 minus 37 
uh, is going to change into sine of 37, right? Why is that, guys? Because what is the formula we applied here? Cos 90 minus theta. Do you see that? Is going to be equal to sine theta. That's the formula we've applied, right? So can you see cos 90 minus 37? Theta is 37 here, right? So this is our theta. Can you see? So it's going to be sine 37. And we have basically divided by sine 37. So the trick is we are changing cos into sine here in this step. And you can see that these two are going to cancel. So very good, guys. A lot of you got the correct answer. It's basically going to turn out to be 1. Excellent. Super. Clear? So that's how we apply our complementary angles. Now, guys, can you solve this question for me? If tan 2a, right, is equal to cot of a minus 30, you need to find a. So come on, guys. I want all of you to try. And it's excellent to see everyone participating here. And guys, if you haven't hit the like button, please hit it right now. And do share out our uh, videos with your friends so that we can have more people join the Manocha Academy family. So guys, try out this question. So I have another, this interesting question for you, which, what do we have here? Tan of 2a, okay, is given equal to cot of, so we have, so let's write that in blue here. So cot of a minus 30, and we need to find a. So the question is, we need to find a here, right? So come on guys, excellent. I see some answers already, superb. I want all of you to try this, right? So what do we do here? So what can we do? So we've got a tan on the left and a cot on the right, right? So we can't directly compare these guys, right? So we can't compare 2a and a minus 30 because we've got tan on one side and cot on the other. So let's see if we can apply some of our concepts to convert, right? So what is the formula we learned here? Let's take a look. So guys, can you see this uh, formula, right? So we have tan 90 minus theta equals cot theta and cot 90 minus theta is tan theta. So I would suggest you to write down these formulas, right? So when you're solving the question, so either you can write it uh, while solving or you can write it on the side. So whatever you feel comfortable, right? So what have we learned? That cot of, so we know, so let's write it on the side here. So cot of 90 minus theta is basically equal to tan theta, right? And similarly, we also know that tan of 90 minus theta is cot theta, right guys? Okay, so we have that. So let's see which one we can apply here. So let's convert our left hand side. So we can convert the tan into a cot. Okay, so let's try to do that. So that should be, so the left hand side will basically become cot of 90 minus 2a, right? Do you guys agree? Because tan 2a is going to be tan theta is cot of 90 minus theta. So can you see we are using this relation here. So let's convert it here. So it's going to be uh, tan 2a is going to be cot of 90 minus 2a and that's equal to cot of a minus 30. So does everybody follow me? Very good. I'm seeing already some answers here. So see what's the trick? We are converting tan to cot. Why? So that now we can compare because we have cot on the left and right hand side. So therefore we can say these angles are uh, these uh, things in the cot, the angles are equal. So therefore we can write here. So therefore we can say 90 minus 2a is equal to a minus 30. We can equate it now, right? And so now if you uh, solve, we can get 90 plus 30 we'll get is equal to 3a goes on this side. So therefore, uh, what am I getting here? So let's reverse it and write. So we have 3a equals 120. And so what is the answer guys? What are you guys getting? Excellent. I see a lot of people have got the correct answer. 120 by 3, 40 degrees. Superb. That's absolutely the right answer. Now you may be asking, uh, can I convert the right hand side cot to tan? Of course, you can do whichever one, right? So you, we can do that also. So suppose you want to convert this guy. So this guy will become basically tan of 90 minus, but we need to be a little careful here. Let me write it again clearly. So guys, if you want to convert this cot guy, so we'll have to write tan of 90 minus a minus 30. 
be careful you need to put that angle in the bracket so then it will basically become tan of 90 minus a plus 30 okay guys and so you're going to get something like tan of uh, 120 minus a right so again if you solve that and equate it uh, you're going to end up with the same answer so 2a equals so you can see from here 2a equals 120 minus a therefore 3a is 120 and again we are getting a is 40 degree so whichever way you go and guys you can see that this um, uh, the one on the left and uh, the first option worked out faster because we didn't have to deal with that big angle but both way you get the same answer excellent guys superb okay so we are using complementary angles right now i have another interesting question for you find the value of this expression below tan one degree tan two degree tan three tan four and so on all the way up to tan 89 so you're multiplying these right so tan one time uh, multiplied by tan two multiplied by tan three all the way up to tan 89 so guys what do you think this is going to be wow i already see some answers excellent guys excellent very good you guys are trying so let's see how can we solve this interesting long question right because there are i think 89 terms here right from 1 to 89 wow that's going to be a lot of terms so let's see how we can uh, attack this question right so let's take a look so let's write it down first so what do we have here tan 1 degree right multiplied by so we are multiplying this uh, times tan 2 degree multiplied by tan 3 degree right and so we have a lot of uh, angles here so and it's the question i'm just copying it down right now so it's all the way up to tan 89 right so what are the things involved here let's rewrite it clearly so we have tan 1 times tan 2 right and so if i continue it's basically going to be tan 44 here then in the center we have tan 45 right guys then tan 46 right we continue then we'll have tan 88 so i'm writing some more terms and tan 89 does everyone agree with that so we're just basically multiplying out here right so now what concept we can use here guys think about it so what can we do here so can you see that this using that relation right that uh, tan 90 minus theta is basically cot theta right or cot 90 minus theta is tan theta right guys so can i say that so what can i say here that tan 1 is basically going to be cot of 90 minus 89 right oh sorry so this is going to be let me write it again my mistake so tan 1 is basically going to be uh, let's write it a little lower so that it's clear to you so tan 1 degree is going to be tan of 90 minus 89 okay times tan of 90 minus 88 right and this will continue so then we'll get over here what do we get tan of 90 minus 46 times tan of 45 and we continue that multiplied by tan of this will reverse right so this is tan of 46 here so we won't do that so tan of 46 and tan of 88 and tan of 89 okay so can you see what we've done so the initial part before tan 45 because 45 is the center point here before that we've changed the angle from one degree to into this 90 minus theta form right because you know one is 90 minus 89 clear guys so please take a look at the concept here so now what uh, we can use so we are going to use the relation so what are we going to use guys here can you see that tan 90 minus theta here so we are going to apply the relation tan 90 minus theta is basically cot theta right the thing that we had learned for these complementary angles so tan 90 minus theta is cot theta so what are we going to get here guys so the first term is basically going to be cot of 89 do you guys follow me because it's tan 90 minus 89 which means it's cot of 89 degree the second term is basically going to be cot of 88 degrees right and so on it will continue and then we have basically cot of right 
So we have cot of 46 degree here, right? Tan 90 minus 46. Can you see this term changes to cot of 46 and multiplied by these terms we didn't change. So we have tan of 45, right? Time, uh, times tan of 46. Okay, I think you guys can't see that my head is covering, right? So let's write it clearly here. So we have this thing times tan of 45 degree here, right? So times tan of 46, tan 88 times tan 89. So does everyone follow me? It's pretty simple. So all we've done is we are changing the one degree to 90 minus 89. So tan 90 minus 89, cot 89, cot 88. And we go on till the center because 45, you know, is the center uh, thing. Now comes the interesting thing. You know that cot 89 is one by tan of 89, right? So can you see guys, this term and this term will cancel because they are reciprocals. Again, cot 88 and tan 88 are reciprocals. They will cancel each other since we were multiplying them. Similarly, cot 46 will cancel with tan 46. So finally, we, what are we left with guys only? We are left with tan of 45 degrees, right? So we are left only with tan of 45 and guys, you know from the table, what is tan of 45? It's one, one, right? Can you see the value here? Tan of 45 is one. So very simple. This answer is going to be, turn out to be one. Excellent. And a lot of you got the correct answer. So it's one here. And so we uh, changed this whole huge expression using the complementary angle formula, tan 90 minus theta is cot theta, right? So we changed the tan into a cot for half of the terms and we cancelled it and so we got one. Superb. So guys, that was an interesting question. I hope you guys got it. If you have some doubts, you can put it in the comments or watch this uh, uh, video again. So let's move on to another interesting question. If ABC are angles of a triangle, then sine of B plus C by 2 is going to be what? So guys, can you tell me? Okay. So some of you are asking, how do we know to convert? So guys, you'll see the clue here, right? So did you see the clue here? Because you had this 1 and 89. So you have 90 minus 89, 2 and uh, 88. They are complementary angles. So you have to look for these clues and then apply the uh, formula. Okay. And you'll get this with practice. Don't worry. Right. You just need to practice. So now please try this question, guys. So I want all of you to try. So come on, guys, try this question. If A and ABC are uh, angles of a triangle, right? So we've got this triangle here. So let's draw it down here. So let's say we have a, okay, right? So we have this ABC, right? Then sine of B plus C, right? And uh, it should be basically a right angle triangle, right? So here, so we have uh, ABC are the angles of a triangle. Then we need to find sine of B plus C by two. Right. So we have basically A plus B plus C is 180 degree here. Right, guys? Okay. So uh, all of you know, right? So in the triangle, we have angle A plus B plus C is 180. Okay. So now what do we need to do? We need to find sine of, so let's write that down clearly here, sine of B plus C by 2. So what is that going to be? So very good. I can see some answers here. Excellent. You guys are trying. So what is the trick here? So let's apply what we know. It's going to be sine of, we know uh, the angles are adding up because they are angles of a triangle, right? So we'll get basically 180. So uh, uh, B plus C is basically going to be, so let's write that down clearly here. B plus C is going to be 180 minus A. And let's substitute that here. So can you see here we are substituting in B plus C. It's 180 minus A by 2. Right. So let's write that down. So that's basically going to be 180 by 2 minus A by 2. Right. Okay. So that's basically sine of 90 minus A by 2. So can you see that guys? Very good. So sine of 90 minus A by 2. So what is that going to be guys? So, you know, again, we can use sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. So this is going to change to cos, cos of A by 2. Very good. Very good. A lot of you got the correct answer. Great guys. You guys are awesome. 
You guys rock very good. You solved this question correctly. So very simple, you just substitute it and uh, just make sure you do that uh, 90 minus A by two correctly and you have the right answer. Excellent. So now we've done complementary angles. Let's move on to trigonometric identities, right? So what are the identities that we have here? So these are these square relations, right? Where you have sine square theta plus cos square theta is one and then one plus tan square theta is sec square theta. 1 plus cot square theta is cosec square theta as you can see here and guys you know that tan theta is basically sine theta by cos theta I've just written this for your reference uh, useful to know and cot theta is cos theta by sine theta so let's try to understand what these guys are so one thing you guys should know that uh, sine square theta what does it mean it basically means uh, let me write that a bit clearly here so when we say sine square theta so we're basically talking about it basically means sine theta whole square, right? So let's understand for a right angle triangle, uh, how do we get this relation? So it's pretty simple guys. So take a look here, very, very simple I'm gonna show you. So if you take a triangle ABC, right angled at B, and this is the angle theta. So let's mark the perpendicular for this theta is gonna be this side, right? Uh, base is gonna be the, uh, with the angle theta and 90, and hypotenuse is opposite to the 90. So let's look at our first relation here. So right, we are focusing on this relation, the relation one, and let's see how we can easily prove it. So what is sine square theta going to be? So sine square theta is basically going to be, we said it's sine theta whole square. So it's basically, you know, sine theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse. So P square by H square, right? And what is cos square theta going to be guys? So cos square theta is going to be B square by H square right okay b squared by h squared and what is the first relation saying that add the two so if we add sine square theta plus cos square theta let's see what do we get so sine square theta plus cos square theta is basically going to be p squared by h squared plus b squared by h squared so what are we getting so we have h squared in our denominator and p squared plus b squared right perpendicular square plus base square and guys what is p squared plus b squared Okay, so what is P square plus B square? Is there an easy way to learn this? I'm just gonna show you guys. Somebody's asking, right? Uh, Drishti is asking, what is the easy way to learn? I'm just gonna show you how to remember these identities in a super easy way. So uh, if you look at this by Pythagoras theorem, we know guys, right? That H square is basically P square plus B square, you know from Pythagoras theorem, so simple. So this is basically gonna turn out to be H square by H square, and that is why we get one. So can you see guys, we have proved very simply sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one, clear? So if you look at this, we just substituted P by H and B by H and used Pythagoras theorem as you can see here. Now let's see how can you remember and prove these uh, the second and the third identity. So let's take a look. So I'm going to erase all of this since you guys have got it right. Okay, so let's just erase all this part here. So take a look guys, how do you prove the second identity in a very simple way? So come on, I want all of you to think here. So let's start with our first identity since we have proved it. So let's write our first identity, sine square theta plus cos square theta is one, right? Now to prove it, uh, what do you uh, do? You just divide it by cos square theta, okay? So let's divide both the sides, right? So we are gonna divide this thing by cos square theta and the right hand side, left and right hand side. So what do we get on the left side? Sine square theta by cos square theta plus cos square theta by cos square theta, right? Is equal to one by cos square theta. Now guys see, what, do you go, what are you gonna get here? What is sine square theta by cos square theta? You can see, can you see guys here? Sine theta by cos theta is tan theta. Look at this formula. So sine square theta plus cos square theta, this is gonna be nothing but tan square theta right and this term cos square plus uh, this term is simple this will cancel it's one and what is one by cos square theta you know that reciprocal of cos is sec theta right so it's going to be sec square theta okay so guys can you see that we have proved the second relation here one plus tan square theta is sec square theta okay so so simple guys take a look we have simply proved it just by dividing by cos square theta clear and similarly guys you can prove the Next one also. 
So I want all of you to try that. Uh, it'll be pretty simple. You just need to divide the first relation by sine square theta. So you're going to get one plus cot square theta is cosec square theta. So you just need to remember that first relation and then the other ones are quite easy to prove. So once you prove it once or twice, you'll absorb it and you won't forget this. Okay. Right. So just to summarize, uh, some of you have a doubt. Look at the first one. We proved it by Pythagoras or you can watch the video again. Sine square theta plus cos square theta was one. And then what did we do to prove the second? Look at the proof of the second one here. We started with the first relation, right? Uh, and then we simply divided the left and right hand side by cos square theta. Simple. Once you divide it, you'll see that sine square theta by cos square theta is tan square theta plus one is equal to the reciprocal of cos is sec square theta. So many formulas you have to learn in trigonometry, but after that it's really easy. And same thing for the last one. If you divide that first relation, if you divide it by sine theta, right? So that first term sine square theta by sine square theta is going to be one. Cos square theta by sine square theta is going to be cot square theta. And one by sine square theta is going to be cosec square theta. Okay. And don't forget these important relations also that tan theta is sine theta by cos theta and cot theta is cos theta by sine theta. You can easily prove this by P by H, B by H, the hypotenuse gets cancelled. Okay. Very, very simple. All right, guys. So to absorb these identities, are you ready to practice some questions? Let's try this. What is one plus tan square A by one plus cot square A? Right. Somebody had asked in today's class, can we use uh, A also? Yes. A, theta, X, whatever. Right. These are just uh, representing the variables representing the angle. Okay. So guys, uh, please try this question. Okay. I have some video requests for chemistry. Also guys, we are having uh, during this lockdown, we are having daily live classes at 8 PM for physics, chemistry, and maths. And we also have special live classes on our website, manochaacademy.com. So do check out our courses. They are at a huge discounts because we want to help all of you guys. So please do check it out. It's manochaacademy.com. We have the physics and chemistry course. And very soon we are going to be launching the maths course also. So do check it out and do share it with your friends. So guys, try this question. What do you think this is going to be? Come on. I want all of you to try it. Okay. And hint guys, use these trigonometric identities that we've learned. Okay. So I've given you the hint. Come on. Let's try this question. What is the question asking? What is one plus tan square A and trigonometry? You just have to write down stuff, you know, write down the formulas on the side and work out the things, right? So I would advise you, you know, write down the identities on the side. So let's write them down here quickly. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. We learned that, right? And what are the other identities we saw? One plus tan square theta, right? Is sec square theta, right guys? So we have one plus tan square theta is sec square theta. And similarly, one plus cot square theta is cosec square theta. Okay, so write them in front of you so that you can see that. Now let's see which of these identities. So I just wrote down these three identities here, right? That we had learned. Okay, guys, simple. So please learn them and write them down. And that will really help you while solving the question because you have them in front of you. So can you see from the identities one plus tan square A, what is it going to be? Okay. Sec square A, right? Look, we've used this identity. And what is one plus cot square? Uh, oh, sorry, I wrote theta here by mistake. It should be A, my mistake, sorry guys. So what is one plus cot square A? It's gonna be basically cosec square A, right? Because one plus cot square theta is cosec square theta. So that's gonna be cosec square A, okay, right? So that's what we have here. So now let's work out uh, sec square A, you know, is basically the, the numerator is the reciprocal. So it's basically one by cos square A and that's divided by, so the denominator is basically one by sine square A, right? Because cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So what do we have here guys? So this is uh, because we are doing division. So it's basically going to be inverted here. So one by cos square A times, so this guy is going to get inverted, sine square A, right? You guys follow, pretty simple. And so let's see, uh, what do we get in the end? So we are basically getting sine square A by cos square A. Very good, very good. A lot of you got it. And guys, remember this relation? What is sine theta by cos theta or sine A by cos A? Can you see guys? 
it's basically tan theta, right? So we are basically having here, this is gonna be tan square A. So did I do it correctly? Please check it. Very good. D is the correct answer, excellent. When will the live class be there tomorrow, right? It will be at, uh, we have the class at 8 p.m., right? So you can check the notifications. It's usually out around uh, 5.30 or 6 o'clock, right? So guys, do join us for the live classes. And this is the correct answer here, okay? So what was my main tip for you guys? Please write down these identities. Don't do it mentally, right? Because in the head, if you're doing sine square theta, cos square theta, you're gonna get confused. So write them down. It's not a waste of time. Just write them quickly and just apply them. And you can see the question is really, really simple. Okay, excellent. Let's try this next question. What is square root of one plus sine theta divided by one minus sine theta? In trigonometry is all about simplifying the expression, looking at the goal, you know, and using your formulas and identities, okay? So guys, please try it. And guys, do hit the like button. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this session. You have been really interactive. I'm really enjoying it. So please hit the like button and share it with your friends. So come on guys, try this question. So I hope you have your pen and paper ready. So always keep them for these live classes so that you are totally participating in it, right? So I want all of you to try here. So the question is square root of one plus sine theta, right? Divided by one minus sine theta. Come on guys. So what is this gonna be? Okay, very good. I'm seeing some of you are thinking of uh, uh, some interesting things to do here. Good guys, try it out. So what do you think we're gonna do here? Okay, right? So let's see what, what can we do here. So I want all of you to try this. So let's see that if we multiply the numerator and denominator, because we have one plus sine theta divided by one minus sine theta and we have this irritating square root, right? So let's try to get some square relation so that we can get rid of the square root, right? Okay. So let's see what we can do. So let's say we take one uh, plus sine theta and multiply that in the numerator, right? And in the denominator so that we don't make any change. So we are multiplying, can you see the numerator and denominator by one plus sine theta here. We are multiplying the numerator and denominator by one plus sine theta. So what are we gonna get here guys? So we are gonna get basically square root of so this numerator is going to be one plus sine theta whole square. And what is this going to be? Can you see guys? A minus B multiplied by A plus B. Can you see that? So we can apply the formula. Guys, you know this relation, right? A minus A plus B times A minus B is basically A square minus B square. So let's apply it here. And what are we going to get? One, one square, which is one minus sine square theta. Do you guys see that? Okay. Right. So now let's go ahead and simplify this here. So what do we get? So can all of you see that? So the numerator is pretty simple because it's one plus. Uh, so let me continue it on this side. So let's write this here. So I'll erase this relation. So what we get here guys, so we are going to get square root of, oh sorry, so uh, it's gonna be the square root of the numerator, right? So that's basically square root of the square. So we're gonna get one plus sine theta there, simple, right? And the denominator will be square root of one minus, because the square root and square gets canceled, one minus sine square theta. Now, can you tell me what is one minus sine square theta? So let's use our formula, guys. Let's use this formula. What is the connection between sine square theta plus cos square theta? Oops, so sine square theta plus cos square theta is one, right guys? So therefore we can say uh, cos square theta is nothing but one minus sine square theta, right? So can you see that this entire term is gonna change into, so this is nothing but cos square theta. So what do we have here? So this is one plus sine theta divided by square root of cos square theta. Do you guys agree? And so that's going to be one plus sine theta by cos theta. Okay, so all good till here, simple, right? And so what do we get finally? So that's going to be one by cos theta plus sine theta by cos theta, right? 
okay and what is 1 by cos theta it's nothing but reciprocal of cos theta sec theta plus sin theta by cos theta is nothing but tan theta so just a little bit of working you know just doing the steps so the main trick was in the first step you just multiply by 1 plus sin theta so that this uh, numerator becomes simple and then we change the 1 minus sin square theta to cos square theta that was the main step here and after that it's very simple so very good guys the correct answer is going to be sec theta plus tan theta which is our option a here okay excellent let's try this question also so what is sine theta minus 2 sine cube theta divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta going to be so this one looks a little complicated but don't worry once you uh, start simplifying things it actually becomes easier so i want all of you to try this again on your pen and paper right so try it out guys yeah i see some requests for some topics so guys do write it in the comments i do uh, read your comments and i'll try to take i may not be able to take each and every topic but i'll definitely uh, uh, try to take the ones that are popular you know where a lot of people are asking so very good so i want all of you to try this question now so let's see what is this question so if you look here uh, we've got uh, basically we are starting off with sine theta minus 2 sine cube theta right divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta so let's see what we can simplify this to so here you can see that for the numerator let's take sine theta common so what do we get 1 minus 2 sine square theta simple and in the denominator we can see we can take cos theta common so cos theta divided by this is going to be 2 cos square theta minus 1 right and guys you can see look at the options here right since it's a multiple choice question you can see the options are very simple it's going to simplify into cosec theta sec theta tan theta or cot theta so which one is it going to be that's what we need to find out here right so the it's really simplifying to something really uh, simple so let's see what we can cancel out or what we can do here right so let's try this out so we know this, uh, can you see guys, that sine theta by cos theta, so this is simply going to be tan theta, right? So this part is very simple. So we have tan theta, and then we have all this fancy stuff here, right? 1 minus 2 sine square theta divided by 2 cos square theta minus 1. Guys, can you see that? Okay, so now you can see in the numerator, there's a sine square theta, there's in the denominator, there's a cos square theta. So you can see that there's square, guys, right so we need to use our uh, trigonometric identities the square relations and what is the important square relation that we learned between sine and cos theta it was sine square theta plus cos square theta is one right so that is the important relation that we learned today so sine the square theta plus cos square theta is one right so let's go ahead and change one of the guys right oops and i forgot to write this is tan theta right not tan tan of theta okay so this is going to be tan theta and this one let's change the sign let's say to cos so what are we going to get so instead of sine square theta i'm going to put one minus cos square theta so look this term this term on top i'm going to substitute because uh, sine square theta is nothing but one minus cos square theta from this identity okay guys simple and we are going to keep the denominator the same 2 cos square theta minus 1 now why am i doing it because we are trying to change sine to cos so maybe some things will cancel right uh, so you change one of them not both okay and what are we getting here guys so let's see what does this part simplify to so we are just focused on this part so we basically get here so if we look at this part we have 1 minus so what do you guys get here 1 minus 2 and that's going to be a plus 2 cos square theta right can you see that i'm just expanding this so what am i going to get 2 cos square theta right so 2 cos square theta minus 1 okay that's really good because can you see this part so i was simplifying this part here right in the blue color so we can you see guys what are we getting here so we've got basically tan theta multiplied by so let's write it in blue we simplified that bracket portion to 2 cos square theta minus 1 and the denominator is also 2 cos square theta minus 1 yay so that's great 
now this and this will cancel right guys so we can cancel this part these are going to get cancelled and what are we only left with tan theta excellent excellent guys you guys got it superb so nothing great here no rocket science basically look at the thing you saw we did the simplification took out sine theta cos theta now you see the square relation so those cubes changed into square that means you need to apply our uh, trigonometric identities we use this formula right we use this formula and applied and simplified it and so see it worked out to such a simple thing so once you practice guys so please watch this video and you can also watch my video on the uh, basic trigonometry uh, which is on our youtube channel and then you'll find all of these questions much easier with practice so it's just a bit of practice and learning up your formulas and i have one homework question for you to practice so guys uh, this question is for you find the value of 2 sine square 25 plus 2 sine square 65 so 25 means 25 degrees right and 65 degree so this is the question for you guys and i won't discuss the answer here because this is our homework question i i want all of you each one of you to try this and write down the answer in the comments below and i'll definitely take a look to uh, at your answers and i you've seen that i've tried to reply to your uh, answers for the homework questions as soon as possible so guys please try this out uh, okay uh, so uh, please go ahead and uh, take a look at this question 2 sine square 25 degree plus 2 sine square 65 degree and apply the concepts that we learned in the class today so we learned about trigonometric identities and trigonometric ratio of complementary angles okay uh, so please try it out and guys as i said uh, do check out our awesome courses on physics chemistry and soon we are launching the maths courses as well and these are all to help you with your preparation for CBSE and we have the physics ICSE class 9 course also the links are given below and we have really big discounts for a limited time so guys do check them out I think you'll find them very useful because we have special live classes also uh, which I'm taking those special live classes uh, quizzes and questions and you get to watch interactive videos so this is to help you guys with your preparation and I hope all of you are studying and making use of this uh, lockdown time where i know a lot of, all of us at home it's a very difficult time so i pray for everybody's health guys please take care of your health and family stay safe stay positive and keep on studying guys that's my message to you please uh, keep on studying and practicing and also use your textbook for more practice and do check out our courses and if you haven't uh, subscribed to our youtube channel what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button right now like this video and please share it with your friends and it was awesome to have so many of you here on the live class so guys i really feel uh, great uh, being in these live classes with you guys and hope you enjoyed it too so thanks a lot uh, for being here and see you in the next class Guys, take care. Bye-bye. See you.